One thing that is perhaps not covered, and I don't think that we would be, have been able to cover it in, in, in the statement here today, is the challenges uh, of infrastructure and projects that are obviously being destabilized by the so-called construction mafias. And I think that's something that uh, we, we need to bear in mind, that there are interruptions that are happening uh, across water-related and sanitation projects at a local level. We've got these so-called SMMEs that are um, uh, disrupting and uh, extorting money from uh, uh, construction companies, uh, all in the name of that particular 30%. Now, there is no upskilling, there is no development. So it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a lose-lose situation for government because government is being held at ransom by people who claim that they are uh, SMMEs that need to benefit from this particular 30%. This is an issue that we, was raised by the water boards during our engagements, and this is an issue that I've highlighted with the minister to say we need to find a way in which we can meet with the security cluster and find ways in which we are able to also then uh, protect these particular uh, projects because if this particular issue persists, we are going to find ourselves in a position where there are no projects that are completed because we are dealing with mafias who are extorting money uh, um, um, for, from projects that are supposed to be benefiting. These particular projects, Minister, worth billions of rents, will not see the light of day because of this particular phenomenon. And it is a phenomenon that needs to be dealt with. We know that the Department of Public Works and other uh, uh, departments are also faced with challenges of the construction mafia. And it is a fact, these construction mafias have cost the economy billions of rents over time.